Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brad here. Brews under review. Thanks for checking me out on another beer review today. Hoping for a real special treat here. This one's Harveston's Ola Dub Ale or Ola Dub Ale, I've heard. Or, uh, every. This one's from Scotland. The Harveston Brewery Hillfits Village, Scotland. 8% ABV. Let's see, we get we got. It's an ale matured in whiskey casks. 8%, I said that right. Age in select oak casks, formerly used to mature Highland Park's beautifully balanced 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey. So, we got here special 12 year reserve. That's why we got the 12, the Harveston 12, because the Ola Dub comes in. A lot of, uh, it's like a series, right? They got the different age casks or barrels, sorry. This is a vintage, well, vintage to me, because it's been in my cellar for a good year, and then in my fridge for probably half a year. This one's from July 2011. And I've never had this beer, but I'm gonna get into it, that's for sure. I've seen a lot of reviews people know and we're saying this is a pretty damn good beer so let's get it poured guys Have a look. <clears throat> Just a touch of red there. Uh, looks pretty solid black otherwise. Nice kind of mocha head on it. They actually have their cap under that foil. Usually if it's foil they just put a generic. Alright, anyway. Let's check out the aroma on this guy. Oh, hey. oh, oh. <laughs> right off the bat, I got like a kind of a smoky note there. Like a, yeah, definitely a charred, charred smoky note. It almost smells like a good barbecue. I don't know. Holy shit. Maybe someone could get like a soy sauce or like a teriyaki characteristic out of this as well. Almost. Let's say that's like a bit of tobacco, maybe. Yeah, definitely a tobacco, smoky. Yeah, you get the <clears throat> a bit of that whiskey, obviously, too, and the, uh, the oak. Just a real bold aroma. It smells awesome. The whiskey isn't up front as much as that smoky kind of burnt wood. Yeah, let's get into it. Wow, medium full mouth feel. Super creamy texture. Just coats the whole mouth. From the way it smelt, I almost thought it'd be a bit of an ass kicker, but man, it's just smooth and fucking delicious. Man, the same kind of, bit of that smoky, maybe it's like some smoked roast in there, dark roast. Bit of that whiskey, bit of the oak. I say you get like a any real chalk, maybe a touch of chocolate there. Faint. It's more smoky, oak, whiskey, bold, but then just so creamy smooth. I think just being aged that long too, like it's coming. It's almost close to two years. It's been cellar. Fuck. 
that's good. I just think, I can't imagine the other ones are gonna really be something, because I got the 16 and the 18, and it is. They're from last year, I bought them last year, summertime. So they're all, they're coming on a year. This one, though. And I gotta try one that's not an age to compare. Fuck, this is good. I don't pick up any of that booze there at all. A bit of a coffee note, a bit of chocolate. Yeah. Let's do a rating. Get it, guys. Grab a bottle, really try this one out. I give it a 95. This beer is fucking awesome. So, I don't think this one was as expensive, but as the, uh, you get the older whiskey barrels or the different ages, man, the price just goes up on these. They do get expensive. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Till next time, cheers.